Hey, welcome to Anchored. I don't know about you, but I love the Advent season. It keeps the focus on Jesus in a season that can quickly turn our focus elsewhere. And it's helped me personally learn how to enjoy the Christmas traditions I grew up with and love while still spiritually being present to Jesus. Amanda and I do our best to bring the family along during Advent, but some years are better than others. You can just ask our kids. But for this year, we're using a new book. And at the close of each day, there's a song that you sing as a family. And the first week was, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. One of my favorite songs, and I think one of my kids' favorites too. It's been an encouragement to my soul to hear their voices singing out together, especially when they crescendo in the chorus with, Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel has come to thee, O Israel. The God Israel had waited on to draw near and to make a home with them has come, and he's also come for my kids too. And my prayer is that they'll keep singing that song with faith and hope for the rest of their lives. If you're not familiar with the name Emmanuel, it just means God with us. In the Hebrew, literally, literally, Emmanuel, with us God. It originally showed up in the prophet Isaiah when God rejected King Ahaz and promised that a new king named Emmanuel would reign in his place. But we also heard the name again this past Sunday as James opened up Matthew 1, 17 through 25, the birth story of Jesus and saw that Jesus is the final fulfillment of that earlier prophecy. He is Emmanuel. And that's what Matthew's doing. Matthew, the gospel writer, tells us that Jesus is Emmanuel, God with us. Jesus wasn't a boy who eventually became God. He wasn't someone that just resembled God. He wasn't like the prophets before him that were just humans, but sent out to be God's mouthpiece. Jesus was and is truly God. God who took on our flesh and made his home with us. God who walked the earth, laughed, cried, and ate with us. God who felt compassion for us and gave his life to rescue us from sin and death. It's an incredible name. Advent reminds us that like Israel, we wait for the return of Emmanuel, when he'll come and make his home with us permanently, making the world new again and remaking us to live with him forever. And he will return, but he hasn't yet. And that's the tension we live in during Advent. But Matthew doesn't want us to get the wrong impression that we won't have Emmanuel at all until then. If you flip to the very last verse of Matthew, we hear Jesus talking about his name Emmanuel again. It says, Jesus came near and said to them, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore, make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe everything I commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. What is Jesus saying? He's saying that the entire span of time between his leaving and his arriving in the future And every season we walk through as his disciples, in our ups and our downs, our successes and our failures, our personal journey with Jesus, and our sharing the good news with others, Jesus is with us. He's Emmanuel. And I wonder for you, where do you need to remember today that God is with us today? Maybe you're caught up in the busyness of the Christmas season, and you're forgetting to focus on the one who came from heaven to earth for you. Or maybe you're living through a challenging season and you're struggling to find the hope and the joy that people around you are finding. Whichever place you're in today, Jesus is still Emmanuel and he's still your Emmanuel, God with us and God for you. And so may all of us in whatever season we're in, turn our eyes to Jesus, God with us. Hey, thank you for engaging with this episode of Anchored. Are you part of Bethel Church and interested in being a host for this podcast? We know that God speaks to each one of us. We want to faithfully grow the people who contribute and share their insights through this podcast. If you are interested in learning more about this opportunity, please email video at Bethel.ch.